We're looking at Praxis self check 7.20, which is a reference mystery 2. And the following program is going to produce four lines of output. We want to write each line of output below as it would appear to the console. So we have an import for our array class. We have our public class, reference mystery 2. We have a main method, and then we just have a function right here. So let's go through this and let's find out what we print. We start off with in x is equal to one, and then we declare an array of length two here. This is length two. Um, so it's going to have two indexes, zero and one, length is two. We're gonna pass this to our function, mystery. So we're passing in our integer and we're passing in our array. And then we're just gonna print out our integer and the array. So the integer, it was one here. It looks like it will be two. If we do arrays to string, we are going to have our elements in brackets separated with a comma. So we know that when we start and when we initialize an array and declare it with a size, everything inside is filled with zeros. So we just have zeros inside of here. So we looks like we increment this based off of x as our index. Well, before we increment our x, x is 1. So when we come in here, x is 1 when we run this line. So 1 is plus plus, so we're going to increment this. So this is the first index right here. We have the zeroth index and then we have the first index. Now we're gonna come out of here and go into this sysout.print line. First off is our x here. Now our x, we just incremented in here. So we still have x is equal to one on the outside. So we should just have one right here. So just a one right there and our array doesn't change so that should be the same. We then decrement our x we set the first index of our array equal to the array length, which is two, and then we pass this to our mystery. So let's come into here. Um, before we do anything, at this line, x is zero. And then our a1, which is this one right here, is equal to the length, which is two. Now let's look inside of our function. So if we are at index zero with this part right here, we want to increment it once. So this should be one. Our X is incremented. So this should be one. And then we're gonna come out of here and we go into this sysout.print line. And this sysout.print line is essentially the same as this, but we don't have this X plus plus. So this should be a zero. And we can submit. And we've passed four out of four tests. So that is how I would go about looking at this code. Practice it, self-check, 7.20, reference mystery 2.